Good morning, South Park. It is 5.35 in the morning. I couldn't sleep, so I got up and I wanted to uh, start my day off fresh, uh, get some work done before it started raining. Hopefully everybody's still sleeping in. Um, hopefully you get your work done. Uh, I got my family still sleeping on the inside, so I'm coming live from the back deck again. I got the sun coming up. If you see over there, the sun's coming up. That's it. You can get to see it a little bit. The sun's coming up. So I'm just going to kick back, do my lesson with you guys, and uh, fry me up some eggs here in a little bit. Uh, the very first thing I wanted to say is I wanted to say thank you for everyone who turned in your test. Uh, give me to about Thursday to update all the grades. Uh, one problem is I had a couple people mail them to me. So I have to run to school or grab those. I had some people email them to me. And uh, some people just sent it to me electronically. First and foremost, uh, from day one, I always said, make sure that you have no excuses in life. Get the job done. However you got it to me, I appreciate it. If you mailed it, thank you very much. If you sent it to me on, a, on the original quiz form, thank you very much. If you made your own quiz form, thank you very much. Uh, when you become... A mature adult you have no excuses you get the job done uh, give me to Thursday just to update everything because I got to run to school when it's open I got to grab a couple from there um, then I got to correct them all real quick then I got to find the correct period that everyone goes in and uh, update the grades mom and dad if you do not see the uh, grade updated by Thursday please email me and uh, give me a call. If you do see a zero in yours, that means I never received it. And uh, I gave you more than enough days to get it done. I gave you uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday to get it done. Four days to get uh, five questions done. Not only that, but I read it to you physically over the, uh, over the internet here. Very first thing I want to do is I want to go over all the answers. So uh, everyone should be good to go. Uh, number one, contamination of planet Earth. That is called pollution, everybody. Pollution for number one. Uh, uh, two, three, and four. Uh, three types of uh, environmental issues. You can have them in any order. Any order possible. Resource use, population growth, and pollution. You could have pollution uh resource use population growth however you have those three uh and whatever order as long as you have those three it's good to go number five the practice of fish farming aquaculture a veal parm i saw the f picture of the fish great job rainbow trout i liked them i liked them um if you guys oh, also by the way right in the middle of checking this if you guys do anything cool send me some pictures send me some pictures i know veal and his family went fishing if you're doing anything cool, send me some pictures. If you're going hiking, take a couple pictures, email them to me. Uh, you know I love that type of stuff. Number six, any resource that can only be used once that's non-renewable. Non-renewable. Uh, seven, eight, and nine. Three reasons why the population is continue to grow or why it keeps getting bigger. Better medicine, uh, better farming techniques, and better waste disposal. For waste disposal, if you have plumbing, I totally understand. Uh, does any way that you can get rid of, uh, you know, anything coming from the toilet always improves health because there's uh, less illness, less sickness. All right, so seven, eight, nine, better medicine, uh, better farming. If you have agriculture, that's the same as farming. I totally accept it, totally understand, and better waste disposal. Number 10, she was from Pittsburgh. She was an environmentalist who wrote the book Silent Spring. Her name was Rachel Carson. Keep in mind, uh, if you go down to PNC Park, uh, you have the Roberto Clemente Bridge, the Andy Warhol Bridge, and the Racing Carson Bridge. Um, those are the three yellow bridges down by the stadium. Uh, unfortunately, I was going to take you guys down there for your field trip, um, but uh, obviously it got canceled. All right. Uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, big question. Five types of pollution. You can have these in any order whatsoever. Heat, chemical, light, waste, and noise. 
uh, heat. Uh, it's when you, if you're, you have a chemical company or steel mill, you have hot water and you release it into a cold river, that's heat pollution. Chemical pollution, you, you should understand. Noise pollution, if you live by uh, train tracks or, or the airport. Um, light pollution and uh, waste pollution. So those are the uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Number 16, forest contain. Hey, there's my neighbor, the Burkses. They're out with their doggy. Just heard uh, heard their new doggy, Winston. There's Mr. Burks right there. Number 16, forests contain many valuable resources. Um, this answer might fluctuate a little bit. As long as you have something in a ballpark, I totally understand. They contain very, very... There are many valuable resources. Number 17, why are trees considered renewable? Uh, the reason why is uh, we went over this a couple times. They can be replanted. Anytime you have a, a logging operation, logging company, for every tree you cut down, you want to plant three. I told you uh, a couple of videos ago when we go out to Oregon and Washington, uh, you can see a whole entire mountainside has gone, but then you can see the guys planting uh, trees to replace them. You do this to make sure you have a constant supply and they're always coming up again. Uh, so you always have uh, not only uh, resources or resource that you can uh, uh, cut down, but make sure you also have the ability to keep your company working. You don't want to go cut on all the trees and then uh, in 10 years not able to uh, make money from your company from cutting down trees. Number 18, cutting down all the trees, we call that clear cutting. Uh, number 19, when you catch fish faster than they can reproduce, that is called overfishing. Or I like to call it when the uh, chicken parm family, bill parm goes fishing. Uh, number 20, cutting down some trees, that's called selective cutting. So there's all your answers. Obviously, if you want to do, you can play it back and get... Um, get uh, all the answers again. All right, so those are the test questions. Like I said, give me a couple days. I gotta run to school, I gotta grab some, and uh, uh, I'll update the grades. If your grade is not there by Thursday, have your mom and dad email me. It's not being disrespectful. It's just I gotta find them all, and, and uh, sometimes the computer and I just don't like to get along. All right, well, for today, our new activity, I want everybody to turn in their book to page 21. We're going to skip to, skip to in your book to page 100. Skip to page 100. Now in 100, hi Winston. That's my buddy Winston. They just got a new puppy. Uh, what we're going to be looking at today is extinction. So there's a couple main words I want you to look at. One is the word itself, extinction. Uh, number two is endangered. And number three is threatened. Those are the three words I want you to look at. Uh, endangered, endangered, threatened, and extinction. You will find those on page 100 and 101. For your homework for today, here's what I want you to do. I want you to read pages 100, 101. Actually, that's uh, one, two, three, four paragraphs between those two pages. Then I also want you to read 101 to 103. 101 to 103. Start right there. Um, on page 102, uh, it talks about habitat destruction, uh, poaching, pollution, and exotic species. Uh, habitat destruction is a key word I want you to pay attention to. Habitat fragmentation, poaching, uh, pollution, and exotic species. So today's assignment, not too bad. I just want you to do some reading. Also, while you're doing this, I want you to think of two, two uh, endangered species that you might have to do a quick report on. Uh, when I say quick... Um, a page, page and a half at the most, at the most. Um, 
I was at school last week and I almost got a tear in my eye because I had to go in the planning room and what did I see? Everybody's bridge. And they, the bridges were looking awesome. And uh, I think that's the first time when I really miss school. Now, missing you is one thing. I definitely miss everybody, but the schoolwork is another thing. But I really missed it when I walked into that room and I saw those bridges. And they were uh, fantastic. The people building, the two groups building the Duluth aerial bridge was fantastic in uh lafferty in ninth period building the building the uh uh lake pontchartrain causeway bridge i was going to be awesome and uh i think too much you guys were doing the uh michigan avenue bridge in chicago that was looking good and i know a couple people were doing uh a couple not people a couple groups were doing the uh bridge in west virginia um the new river gorge and that arch, and then you had the Sunshine Bridge in Florida. Um, that really upset me a little bit that uh, we didn't get to finish that because they were going to be awesome. And uh, you guys put a little, a lot of time and effort into those, and I was, I was very proud of you, very proud of each and every one of you. All right, so uh, listen, go enjoy your day. I think it's going to rain. Uh, make sure you do something positive today. Help out your parents. Play a board game. Uh, play some Uno. Uh, I've been playing Uno with my family. Um, it's good. Good. I actually played, uh, not I, but my whole entire family. We played Jeopardy uh, with my sister and her family and my parents over the phone. So just doing what you can to survive every day. Uh, once again, make sure you reach out. Uh, unfortunately, uh, there's about, uh, eight or nine kids that have not done any work, not only in my class, but in all classes. So, uh, please start logging on. We don't want anybody to get punished, uh, for this situation. All right. Hey, help out your parents. Empty the dishwasher today. How about load the dishwasher? Fold some clothes, run the vacuum. Um, your parents are stressed out. Help them out. Uh, it's time to be mature. All right. See you guys tomorrow. Make sure you read those pages. Uh, 101, or excuse me, 100 to page 103. Not that very, not that very difficult to read. We'll look at that for a little bit. We'll look at that tomorrow. Um, I gave you all your test questions, the answers to them. Uh, give me the Thursday. Uh, I'm starting to grade them, started last night, grading them today, and I got to still go grab some more from school uh, Thursday morning. Uh, if you don't see it by Thursday evening, uh, make sure you don't, uh, or make sure you have your parents email me, and if you don't see it, it's not me being disrespectful, it's just me trying to find them all and get them updated. All right, stay positive, good luck. Benashi, how's your family? Hopefully good. Lafferty, how's your how's your family? Hopefully great. And uh, I'm signing off. I got the sun coming up. The birds are singing. It's a beautiful morning. Time for breakfast. South Park, love you. And as always, go Eagles. Bye-bye.